throughout this course, you'll be introduced to some of the benefits of spiritual practice. And you'll be taught why even consider a spiritual practice in the first place. If you do decide to go onto a spiritual path, how do you find a qualified teacher? What are some of the things and qualities that you look for? How can you be a qualified student? And then finally, how can we have real world impact? When you first are exposed to the blooming of a flower, you know that it's impermanent. It comes for a bit, and it blossoms, and then it fades away. And when a flower blooms and then fades away, you don't suffer. You actually appreciate the radiance and the beauty of the flower while it's blooming. And he said, the first principle of turning your attention towards spiritual practice is to recognize the impermanence of reality and to treat each experience like a blooming flower. Come into direct contact with the impermanence of reality and let it deepen your appreciation for the moment. So happiness with a capital H means that you've come to recognize that all of reality is your friend. All of experiences are your friend. It means that you can take the view of deep interconnectedness moment to moment. That means regardless of what arises in the field of your experience, regardless of if you're sad or if you're relatively happy, there is a background of deep contentment, knowing that reality is truly your ally, that you're getting precisely the medicine that you need in any given moment for your own karmic growth and unfolding. So the first thing to do to drop into a meditative space is to take a posture of dignity. You can literally feel yourself as a king or a queen sitting on your throne. Feel yourself sitting up a bit taller, a bit prouder than you normally sit. If you gently tuck the chin, you'll feel an elongation in the back of the neck. 